A Google machine called AlphaGo has begun beating human champions at the ancient Chinese game of Go. The basics are simple. Black versus white, surrounded stones get captured, winner controls the most territory. But then it gets complicated. Go is a very intuitive game. If you ask a great Go player why they played a particular move, sometimes they'll just tell you it felt right. Another way of viewing the complexity of Go is that the number of possible configurations of the board is more than the number of atoms in the universe. AlphaGo already beat this guy, the European Go champion. And next, it's taking on the world champion. Google just made one giant leap to outsmarting mankind. If you're spooked, it may have more to do with science fiction than fact. After all, we've been here before. For much of the 20th century, people touted chess as computer science's grand challenge. It's one of those tasks that we all thought was impossible for computers to do. Chess is far less complex than Go, but the number of possible chess games also exceeds the number of atoms in the universe. Brute force calculations can't solve it. To have any chance, computers need to narrow the choices down. And in the late 1990s, IBM engineers found a way. World chess champion Garry Kasparov is once again locked in a battle of brains against the supercomputer called Deep Blue. Everybody built it like this was the Terminator come to potentially take down the humans. And Kasparov got crushed. Kasparov has resigned. AlphaGo is different. It analyzed millions of professional Go games and generated its own strategies, then refined them by playing millions more games against itself. It's a remarkable achievement, but it's nothing like this. The Terminator. Every time a computer does some narrow thing uh, better than a person, there's a temptation to think that it's all over for us. I suppose it probably happened first when computers could multiply large numbers very fast. Deep Blue helped fuel advances in parallel computing, financial modeling, and data mining. And AlphaGo's ability to train itself could have even wider applications. But beating humans in a mathematically precise game where all the pieces can be seen is much simpler than the calculating we do in real life, where rules, goals, and outcomes are much less clear. What goes on inside your head is a form of exotic engineering that we just simply don't understand yet. It is just one a rung on the ladder uh, towards uh, solving artificial intelligence. 